This video will be showcasing the Robotis Dynamixel XL330 through the creation of a 5 degree of freedom robot arm. We'll cover the modeling, the assembly, and the testing. All files to do this project on your own are provided at the link in the description. Let's go ahead and start in Fusion 360. Here we have our robot arm that we've designed and will be printing and assembling. Starting at the base, we have the shoulder. The first rotational joint of the shoulder is powered by a planetary gearbox with a 4 to 1 reduction. The carrier plate attaches to the second joint of the shoulder. This is an angular joint, again with a 4 to 1 reduction in a planetary gearbox. The reduction is to apply more torque and reduce back drivability at these first two joints. The shoulder attaches to the first link, which then attaches to the elbow. The elbow is a direct drive. This houses the third Dynamixel motor within our arm. This elbow attaches to the second link. Within this link is our fourth Dynamixel motor embedded. This is the rotational motor for our wrist. This powers the wrist turn. This interacts with the hand, which houses our last Dynamixel motor, which turns our end effector and changes its angle. And there we have it. There's our robot. Before assembling our arm, it's important that we start programming our Dynamixel motors. To begin daisy chaining them, we want to be able to set their IDs individually. So we'll connect them to our Dynamixel shield, which then connects to our Arduino, which then connects to our computer. We can power this Dynamixel shield with an external power supply or the Arduino. After connecting the computer, you'll want to add the Arduino board that you're going to be using and connect to its COM port. After that, you'll want to make sure that you install some libraries. We'll find the Dynamixel libraries required, in this case, the Dynamixel to Arduino and Dynamixel Shield. We'll download those, and then we can see the examples here. There's two example files that I'd like to cover. The first is scan Dynamixel, and the second is ID, and you can see them both here. These are important when it comes to daisy chaining the Dynamixel servos. Each Dynamixel servo has its own unique ID outside of the box, and we need to reset that with a new ID here. Using scan Dynamixel, we can find the current ID of a single servo attached to our Arduino shield. So it's important that we connect one at a time, scan the Dynamixel, and here you can see it finding the ID, in this case 100, for this Dynamixel servo that's attached. Then on the ID file, we will replace the present ID with the ID of the servo that we want to program. And then here, we will assign a new ID to the servo, in this case, 2. Here we can see that it, it accurately assigned the new ID. This allows us to daisy chain our motors. So let's go ahead and build the arm and start programming. First, we'll want to open up one of the Dynamixels and take a look. For this project, you'll need some screwdrivers, some patch cables, and other hardware. Links will be provided in the description to purchase these parts on Amazon. On first impression, the servo is extremely small and extremely light. But you'll see later that they pack a surprising amount of torque. Within the box is also a three pin servo cable and some mounting screws. So let's get building. First, we'll attach the first Dynamixel to the shoulder joint. This is the rotational sh shoulder joint, which uses a planetary gearbox. Our sun gear of our planetary gearbox mounts directly to the shaft of the first Dynamixel servo. Then we'll build the planetary gear carrier. This interfaces with our sun gear and drives the next shoulder joint.
This carrier plate then mounts to the next shoulder joint, the angular shoulder joint. Here, our second Dynamixel motor gets mounted to another planetary gearbox and placed within the shoulder. When routing wires, make sure they have enough slack to allow for rotation. Then the bearing presses in to the next joint and we attach our first link. Our elbow houses our third Dynamixel motor the direct drive Dynamixel motor that's mounted to the elbow through the use of a coupler. This elbow gets attached to the second link before being pressed into the snap joint at the prior link. Patch cables are added to allow for additional length of the servo cables through the links. And here the servo gets clicked into place at the elbow. The third Dynamixel servo is what actuates the rotation of our wrist joint. The wrist gear gets mounted directly to the servo shaft as seen here. This gear interfaces through a plate to the hand joint. The hand then gets screwed to that pin. The last servo is added and here we have our arm. Now let's go ahead and connect the Arduino. First we'll plug in the USB the MKR shield is plugged in to the bottom or top of our Arduino. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some test code that will be run. Again, this will be provided at the GitHub link in the description. Here we're setting the operating mode of our Dynamixels. We're setting some acceleration and velocity properties. And then we can assign specific positions using degrees. We then run through some tests to ensure that the joints perform. And here we have our 5 degree of freedom robot powered by the Dynamixel XL330. I would like to thank Robotis for supplying the Dynamixel XL330s for this project, as well as the Arduino MKR board to interface with them. Thanks for watching.